Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we've got this Mastercraft 12 and a half horse, 38 inch, uh, two blade mowing deck, riding mower. Mastercraft is a brand name sold here by Canadian Tire in Canada. <laughs> um, made by MTD in Canada. This one is a bit of an older machine. It's got a Briggsy in it. And it, the date code says 1997 and it's a flathead. It's not overhead valves. There's no valves to adjust. Well, you can adjust them, but there's no overhead valves. There's no valve cover. That's all internal. It's got about 18 years of bird droppings on it. The outside looks clean. I don't know. Maybe how's the hood? Maybe the hood was open. I don't know. Bone dry gas tank. I haven't even pulled the dipstick on this thing yet. Wait for the intro. Then we'll do that. Okay, intro's done, let's get into this thing. A Couple of preliminary things just to look at. We're gonna try and get it running first and then go over the rest. Because if the motor's junk, it might not be worth doing the rest of the tractor. So if it runs and doesn't knock, if the engine is good, then we carry on with the rest of the stuff. Just a quick check first. There's oil in it. It is of the midnight black variety. Oh, but does it smell like gas? Hmm, hard to say. Doesn't smell like gas gas, but it's also not over full. So, nah, not sure yet. There's enough in there to test it anyways. It's nice and thick. There's enough to just get the engine running, get it warmed up, so we can get all of the oil out of it. That air filter is rubbish. And let's see what's underneath the air filter. I believe I have these in stock. I work on enough old junk that <laughs> I keep old parts in stock. Well, it doesn't look too terrible in there. It's wet and varnishy, like old gas. This weighs 18 pounds because it's full of dirt. That's going to get a new one. I do have a battery on in it. It's hooked up. It's got oil. Let's see if it cranks. Separate choke and throttle. We're just going to give it wide open throttle and open choke just to, so it can suck air easily. Uh, well, it cranks. Let's see if we got any fire. Where's my carburetor cleaner? We're gonna give that one a no and it is spraying carb cleaner and old gas out of it. So we got a carburetor problem. It is pumping, spraying garbage out of here. Old gas from the carb. Might have water in it. All right, we'll get it lifted up. Because the gas tank is bone dry, now is the time to put our shutoff valve and a filter in it. New filter. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Stand by, we'll get it lifted up. All right, I've jumped ahead just a few steps already. Uh, fuel valves in, fuel filters in. Got the carburetor bowl off, that's a mess. <sighs> Carburetor's coming off. Into the ultrasonic cleaner. I also checked with my flashlight up inside that engine cover here to see if there was any mouse nest and I didn't see anything, so that's good. We don't have to take that off right now. I put a new spark plug in it, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure why it's not firing at all. I did get some of this mess out of the carb bowl, but I don't see any water in it. Could be that the carburetor is just not pulling fuel up. So that's our next steps. Let's get that carburetor off of there. All 
All right, in the interest of saving time, we're gonna let the super duper ultrasonic cleaner do its thing. We're gonna get the deck out of here. So you lower the deck all the way down and then there's a gargantuan spring back here. This is what pulls the deck backwards to tension the blade. So, yeah. That can be really fun to get off. This one wasn't too bad. So there's a few clips that gotta come out of here. Got the wrong pliers in my hand. Needle nose are better for this. So let's do that instead. Little hairpin clips. One and a washer. One here and a washer. Then you can just a little a little lift on the deck and that those bars should slide right out. Here we go. Same on the other side. There is a mountain of debris on the top of this deck. Oh, there's a clip. I'm gonna have to vacuum that off. It's a mess. And oh, other clip and a washer. And we should be able to just drop this out of here. Give her a little lift. A little lift. Oh. And we'll raise the deck lifters up again. Look at the stuff on there. That's crazy. That's what rots your decks out. Junk like that. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. Well, the belt is still tight. Either the belt slipped or something moved. <clears throat> sure wasn't the blade. I mean, belt slipped. Anyways, we gotta get these bolts come out from the bottom. Gotta get these two shields off. First, I'm going to vacuum. Do a little housework here. Wow, that's a lot. So she's all vacuumed off. I believe we did manage to save the deck before it was rotten right through, because it's, it's still solid. All the lift brackets are solid. Uh, the blades still won't turn. So, I gotta get these covers off, but, but the blade is covering the bolt for the cover, so I gotta get the blades off first. Now we're gonna get the big gun out, see what happens. Pretty sure these blades are junk. Yup, bent, worn, generally garbage. Okay, well that needs a new one. And let's see if we can get the other one out. Uh, I gotta turn the deck around. It's not bad that it's a 38 inch deck, we can <laughs> maneuver it. And it's a lot lighter. Man, those 54s are heavy. What does this one say? Yeah! Whoa! There's not much that'll argue with this gun. Uh, rubbish? Mm hmm. And now we can get to these, I believe they're half inch bolts. Not that gun, uh, other gun. Let's see. Speaking of guns, this little guy is nice. I like him. 3H drive DeWalt impact. It's got lots of power. It's about the perfect amount of power for most of the heavier stuff you're going to do on small engine stuff. Well, I'm going to vacuum this out and then I'll turn it around and get the other side off and then we'll jump into the bearings and see what's going on there. All right, the cleaner finished the cycle and it was still dirty, so I just ran it in again. Let's get into these bearings here. Check what I did. I got them to free, free up and spin but noisy. Wow. That is not going to do. Let's get these off of here. Oh. 
not brake. When you lift the deck up, there's a brake shoe under here that pushes on the top of this. That's what stops the blade from turning when you're not cutting. Okay, integrated spacer on the pulley. Let's see how easy these come out. <laughs> that easy. Oh, rust in there, which means probably rust in the bearing. We got spacers in between there. There's two. Let's get that lower bearing out first because it's easy. Lower bearing, two spacers hit the ground. <clears throat> There's our bearing, full of rust and junk. Top one's noisy too. Okay, we'll change it. Top ones usually pop out pretty easy. Yep, there we go. Nice. Let's give this a wipe. See how easy that new bearing, which I stock. Oh, bottom's right out. Nice. Don't even have to clean them. Ain't going to clean them. Don't need to. So we'll see. I need my other bearing here ready. We'll tap this in from the bottom. It'll seat the lower bearing. That's all the way up. Jack shaft falls out. <laughs> we'll get that back in there. Ultimately important. Spacers, gotta have them. Upper bearing. Seats right in. Pulley. Brake rotor, brake disc, brake assembly. Brake goer on her. And a gun. all you can hear is the ultrasonic cleaner. <laughs> Bearing is rubbish. Let's flip her over. <coughs> flip her around. Mallet on the floor. Put, put you there. <coughs> nice light 38 inch deck. Ready? Go! Same stuff. Ha! Out on the floor. Hey-hey-ho. Give her a wipe. New bearing. Bottoms out, nice. Set you there for a minute. Let's get these bearings out of here. Trying to move the spacer out of the way to get to the bearing. Here we go. Parts on the floor. Spacers. Garbage bearings. Top bearing. Rubbish. You gotta try and start these straight. Straight as you can anyways. They will straighten out, but just do yourself a favor and try, try and start them straight. That's home. Spacer, spacer. Bearing. That one needs a little tapping. Pulley. Onto the splines. Rotor's got a little notch in it right here. It has to line up with a hole in the top of the pulley. 
give that a little buzz with the gun. Quiet. Nice. Now I can take it out of here, flip it over, scrape the rubbish out from underneath it. Let's see what that looks like. That's a little moldy. <laughs> it's not bad though. There's there's actually not a lot there. Yeah. Let's just give that a scrape. Hmm. MTD number 9420610 Alpha. A pair of these should fit a 38 inch deck. We're going to check that. Tight. We're going to check for interference anyways. I stocked these. Excellent blades. I got them from Sten's. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually a Sten's dealer, so. They're nice and tight. I like these blades. They're very thick, heavy duty. So put a set of blades on, always check for interference. And check to make sure that the cutting tip and this cutting tip. I forgot you couldn't look, couldn't see. There we go. So always check for interference. So I've got the cutting tip here and a cutting tip here and they match, they're the exact same height. You flip it over. Same here and same here. So they're all they're all the same, which is good. If you've got one blade that's say it's high on one like on this, say this blade was high both ways, likely what you've got is a bent deck where the spindle bolts on. The deck will be off. So if the deck is bent that way, this blade will be high on this end. It doesn't matter which way you spin it. So that's that. Don't get your finger in there. That is wonderful. Yeah. So I know this, this is going to sit around for a little bit before I sell it to this winter time right now. Any oil in this thing? <sighs> Let's oil spray it. Hopefully, maybe. Oh yeah, there's oil in there. This is just undercoating oil for cars. There's not much in this gun. What enough to get this done. Will definitely help. Like I said, I know that this is going to sit around for a while, months. We'll call that good. Okay. Oh, beep, beep. Ultrasonic cleaner just finished. Let's get that carburetor out of the stew and see what happens with that. All right, carburetor soup is done. Got a little bit of chrome polish on the end of this Q-tip on a drill, and I'm just going to polish the seat. It's got a rubber tip on the needle, which means it's a solid metal seat. So we just get a little chrome polish on there and give her a spin. Cleaning the sides and the point where the needle actually goes into the hole. So hit that with a little carb cleaner, get rid of the poopy out of there. Oh, I found a cut. Oh, ha, stingy. <laughs> a little blowgun action. Everybody get your safety squints on. There we go. Ooh, that's shiny. So it was rather corroded. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus in on it. Possibly. 
there you can see it down in there there so how shiny that is there couldn't even see that before it was just dirty <laughs> that's good now everything's nice and clean let's get our needle on there set in its home get our pin on there well, I probably could have put the jet in first but you know and do a test so float in this position carburetors upside down in this position it should not flow if I blow in here when I lift this it should flow doesn't flow perfect it's doing what it's supposed to do let's get this in there I'm, I, I'm gonna fight with this one the threads are boogered in the carburetor so I'm gonna have to fight with it so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing I did before I'm gonna hold off on that and I'll do that in the vise that way I can have two hands on the screwdriver keeping it nice and stable let's get our mixture screw back in there there it is what was the number what was it at before you guys are supposed to remember this stuff that's not the one one and a half I heard somebody say it so we'll gently seat this down gently it was at one and almost a half so seated half one and a half I find they're usually too lean anyways and I don't I, I don't imagine anybody's ever touched that because it's it was exactly like stock so I'm going to take this back out of here and get that jet back in there and then put it back together. The bowl turned out nice too. Nice and clean. I did not have a gasket for it, so hopefully the uh, old gasket doesn't leak. So hang on, we'll get it back together and get it uh, situated back on the engine. All right, I got updates. I went ahead and did a bunch of stuff because I'm trying to keep my videos down to 30 minutes or so. 40, 30, 40 ish doesn't always work but i try so deck is all back together and everything the belts on it that's all good the gargantuan spring is on and i know we said the first thing we're going to do is try and get it running to see make sure the engine's good but now quite literally it's going to be the last thing we do is to see if it runs <laughs> i did put a spark checker on the, the coil wire it does have a spark so that'll be fine Carburetor's on, it's got a brand new air filter in there. Uh, the old one was junk. And if you're gonna do adjustments, you wanna have a fresh, clean air filter in it, but you wanna have an air filter in it. Uh, it idle mixtures can be affected by the slight resistance of a clean filter. And if it's dirty, you're gonna run this thing real lean because, it's, because it needs to be lean. If the fuel is, uh, sorry, the air filter's dirty, so you'll lean it out, and then when you change the air filter, it won't run right. <laughs> Just tune it with a, Fresh air filter. Okay, it's got oil. It's dirty, but it's there. It's got spark. Everything seems to be good. I've lubricated everything. The deck mechanism works. It goes up and down. I have to do a little bit of work on the steering, maybe. I think it's a little, something's going on. It's a little tight. Could be a tie rod, but we'll, I'll check that in a minute. I did notice that it's got a uh, two different tires on the back. One's an 18 and one's a 20. Can't have that because the tractor's sideways and it'll cut crooked. Well, well, let's get this thing lowered down a little. See if we can get make it blow some smoke. Going down. Fuel. 91 octane, non-ethanol. It's not the octane that's important, it's the ethanol that's, or the non-ethanol that's important. You don't want ethanol in your fuel, if you can, if you can help it, you just don't want it. Well, what do you say guys, is it gonna pop off? Give her some choke, give it some fuel, filter is filling. I think most of our problem was bad gas, because when I got that bowl apart, it was like bad, so. Let's not go wide open. Let's give her half throttle. And let's see.
Coke is off. that idle be a little bit faster than that. Let's grab a Phillips here. Watch that muffler, it's hot. Turn that up just a little. And we'll see you again. And then I'm gonna mess with the mixture. There we go guys we're gonna end this video exactly like we started <laughs> except for the machine the machine is done one thing left to do i did tweak those the tie rods i just had to tighten them up but uh one thing left i have to do is replace that oddball back tire uh, it's too tall and i do have a qual good quality used one to match this one it's got the same rim and everything I just gotta take the one bolt out of the out of that side, slide the whole wheel assembly off, slide the other wheel assembly on there, and it should be golden. Yeah, so I mean light bulbs work to 
Deck is rebuilt. Runs good now. Everything is tight, snug, the way it should be. Did change oil. Uh, and yeah. It's getting near the end of the day for me here. It's 4.30. This is actually the second unit I've refurbished today. I started off this morning with nothing in the shop. I already did a black uh, yard machines. Yard, yep, yeah, yard machines. That's already all done. Uh, ready to go. And then this Mastercraft. So that's two today. <laughs> that's probably enough for now. Thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, give that bell a dingle. It'll let you know when I upload new videos. Until the next one, take care.